Okay, so here's an old book. Actually, it's uh, a re-release of an old book. I was going to show you the uh, corresponding entry from Pa Beja of the Book of History first. This is from volume 1, page 300. And um, this book is called uh, Caliodo, a Hunter. And this is basically what this book looked like. And I want you to remember this for very obvious reasons. Um, it was about um, 26 by 22 centimeters, about 10 and a half by 8 inches in the original. It had 120 pages. And you can see the, the spread with two images on the left and the right and white uh, you know, space underneath and on top. So the re-release looks like this. I'm just going to remove this. This is the re-release. You can see, well you can't really see, just have to trust me, you know. It's a little smaller than the original, which is fine with me. I just bought this the other day. It comes, you know, it looks very similar to the at least uh, to the original. It's a little different. Also, if you take the dust cover off, the inside of the book has that image, a hunter of the dog that you just saw in, in Power Badger's book. So take care of this. So this is what this looks like. <coughs> I found this the other day. There's a series of re-releases of old uh, of old books by Daido Mariyama. They're all issued in Japan. I just got this one. This one has a little English text here. Um, this book I think came out in 72. Uh, and then the photographer explained that, uh, that he was inspired by Jack Kerouac's On the Road. So that's basically the extent of the text. So these are the photographs. And then you get this. Um, you'll immediately notice that this looks different from the layout you've seen in the photo book of history. Maybe it's a full bleed. Which I think, I mean, I haven't seen the original, but I want to think that this actually works better. This new version, I really like how this works here. Um, the printing is very, very nice. It's, uh, you know, a lot of... Uh, books that get reissued because the old printing techniques are all gone. They look a little different. Often they're printed on glossy paper, which um, can be rather strange. This one is printed on a very matte paper and it has a um, feel of these these old books. You know, when you buy an old book from the 50s or 60s with a review printing. So this is... Um, I don't want to say perfect as far as I'm concerned, but it actually is. I mean, I haven't seen the original. I don't have the money to buy the original. But I don't even think I would need the original after buying this book. I bought this at a, a Japanese store in New York City where you can buy Japanese books amongst a lot of other things. It's uh, on, I want to say, Avenue of the Americas and 41st Street. Of course, you can also order this book in Japan. Or ask somebody, if you know somebody in Japan, to buy it for you and send it to you. I probably paid a little more than I would have paid had I ordered it in Japan. But then, in an actual bookshop, you can look at the book before you buy it something you can't really do online. So regardless, this book is, has very, very quickly become one of my favorite books. It has a lot of the, a lot of well-known images by the photographer in it. I'm not even necessarily the biggest fan of Moriyama's work, but this book is quite ex exquisite. I can't pretend I'm I'm an expert, but I am slowly becoming a little bit of an expert on Japanese photo books from that era. I own quite a few re-releases. So this is something that you, if you don't have a copy, an older copy, it's 
is something that you might want to think about for your for your library. It's a great size too. I've been thinking about that for a while. How many photo books have these enormous sizes? So when you travel, you can never really take more than one if you want to bring one. This one, in contrast, is a beautiful image. This one, in contrast, is just the right size to bring it somewhere. So these are all taken uh, on the road. I don't have to tell you what they are because it's kind of obvious. <coughs> a lot of them are heavily cropped. A lot of them have a lot of grain, which you might not be able to see in this video presentation. Let me see the heavy contrast. You know, this is just gorgeous. The uh, digital recording um, probably is going to make the contrast look a little more contrasty, even than it actually is. This is another wonderful, wonderful photograph. Maybe I just have a weakness for this kind of stuff these days. I don't know. It's entirely possible. I haven't really done a lot of research on this book and on this re-release, so um, I don't know much about the decisions that went into the making of this book. I'm sure there are a lot of people in in Japan who might know more or who at least are able to read Japanese uh, websites and magazines, etc. So hopefully at some stage somebody will send in some information or you know, you'll be able to find more somewhere else. See, it's a rather thick book, so I'm not going to be able to show you the whole book. I was just going <coughs> to show the book all the way until that very, very famous. Here's another beauty. Had a very, very famous photograph of a dog, which, which you already saw in part on the on the outside cover. So I have no idea when that picture is going to appear now. But well, that's all right. You probably can see the grain in this if you look carefully on your computer screen. Well, there's the dog. Beautiful. So, showed you about, I want to say, two thirds of this book. <coughs> the remaining two thirds, you'll have to look at yourself after you bought the book. This is the re release of Daido, see, Daido Moriyama's A Hunter.